They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Sarah's Secret, Singer's King, Viking Red. There goes Royal Security Power around them. Restless Rogue has got the yellow cap and they are followed further back by Ebony Knight who's near the rail. Prince Mushkin's on the outside of runners. Eternal Ice is towards the outside with Vada Bois. King Jango's about six lengths off them. Air Taxi second to last. Roy Storm is about ten lengths off the leader. Royal Security Power leads it. Sarah's Secrets at the rail. Viking Red, the pink cap. Restless Rogue, Singer's King. Prince Mushkin. Then comes Ebony Knight. Got about five lengths to make up. They are followed further back by King Django. Top of the lane. Royal Security Power still leads it. Towards the outside there we find Sarah's Secret. Ebony Knight, Singer's King. Restless Rogue and Prince Mushkin's running a big race on the outside. Royal Security Power but Prince Mushkin picks them up. And Prince Mushkin's going on. Ebony Knight tries to stay back on the inside. Prince Mushkin, Ebony Knight's fighting back but Prince Mushkin won it. Ebony Knight second, Vardabwa third. Close for fourth, King Django or Royal Security Power. Number one, Prince Mushkin, Anthony Del Piers, Dean Canamay, a hundred days off the track, holding by Silvano. There's third victory from 13 outings. And all three victories on the poly for Prince Mushkin, who comes good and wins about a half length. Second, the toad favourite, number five, Ebony Knight. Ebony Knight beaten that half or three quarters of a length, no doubt will come on with the outing. Vardabois runs third, and Royal Security Powers fourth from King Django, Restless Rogue and Air Taxi. Then Singer's King and Sarah's Secret. Toad favourite was number five, which ran second. We'll take a look at the head-on. Royal Security powers the leader. And here comes Prince Mushkin towards the right-hand side with the red cap. White nose band drifts to the middle of the track. And Prince Mushkin goes on here, bred by Dr. Marion Thompson, Ambient Stud. And they win at 12. They pay up the 7.20, Until the fifth race starts off our jackpot, back to the studio. Just seen Prince Mushkin come through with another pulsating finish. He really enjoys the course and distance, and he would have enjoyed that slight break. Oh, yeah, you know, he's had, he had some hard races, you know, and he's a very, very genuine horse, and, and uh, I thought I'll just ease up a bit in him and, and then put him back on the poly, and, 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 and he loves the 1,200-meter trip. His last one was a fair run, I think, over 1,400 meters at Scottsville, which is a little, uh, I think, a little too far for him. But um, a very, very uh, genuine run. And well done to Mr. Knudsen and, uh, and Anthony and the whole team, thank you very much. He is on the sale, on the 22nd, the super sale, he's on, so he's a horse that uh, I think, he, you know, you just have a look at his form, you know, he tries his best and uh, I think whoever buys him will, will have a lot of fun with him. Well, well done thus far, you've done well with him with his three victories and the best of the rest of his career as he moves on. Yeah, absolutely, thank you very much, thanks Sheldon, thank you. Dean Kanamea having a chat, number one Prince Mushkin, he's notched up his third win from 13 runs to date, you heard that he is on the super sale, so he'll be one of those horses to certainly pencil in, poly specialist at this stage of the game, and he really raises his game when he comes back to the surface. Anthony Del Pesh is the winning pilot, he knows Prince Mushkin best of all, of course he's done most of his riding on him, so he knows him exceptionally well, and when he jumps aboard, he usually ends up in the winner's box. He's a horse who, at one stage, he looked like he was going to be a fair handicap and he's now raised his game a bit. Yeah, he has. You know, you've got to take your hat off to Dean and his whole team because he's, his horse has been unsound from day one. And, you know, to, for him to have won three races, I think it's a great achievement. Take us through it. I saw you spot through coming to the 300. Yeah, I was always going well and I, I like to wait a little bit on him. And when I go, I try and pinch a couple because the last 50 really has enough. But he, he's done really extremely well. Very, very, very happy. He's like one of those horses that you've got a, a lot of time for and you do. I like him a lot, so it meant a lot to win on him. When they try, it's best. Well, that's what it is. He, he gives his heart. He hasn't got the legs, but he gives his heart. Well done. Thanks very much. And to my sponsor, Vilgebos Drift and Rose Fontaine, well done.
Another win for jockey Anthony Del Pesh, paying around 7 Rand 20. The win, number one, Prince Mushkin, returns from that 100-day absence from the Dean Canamayo stable, and he's gotten back into the winner's enclosure.